Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. I'm here with Mike Ogers from Rise Snowboards. How are you doing, bud? Good, how are you? Uh, good. Uh, this is take two. Um, we did. We started off with a left-handed five last time, and that was really weird, so we decided to start it over. <laughs> um, but uh, Mike's, in, Mike's in the shop, and he's walking us through uh, all the boards. Um, this is a deck that has uh, been growing a lot lately. It's been awesome for a long time. Uh, this is the Ride Kink. Um, a fantastic board. Team it favorite. Is. It is. Very one, team one, of the best, one of the best park boards around. It really is. It's, it's solid. It's like meat and potatoes. It's like an F-150. Yeah. It's a good selling board. Yeah. It rides awesome. You know what you're getting when you, you get it. You know what you're getting. Yeah. Uh, what are people getting this year with this? So, I mean, there's a lot of bells and whistles that are going on in here. You know, first, I mean, the best thing that I love about it is the visual, visual shelf appeal. Yeah, it um, looks good. So, this is one of our, again, like, big props out to... Uh, a couple of our guys, so Jake Durham, who did the graphic on this, um, yep. so second year for him doing graphics on it. Um, hometown guy. Hometown Good job, hero. Jake. Yep. Good job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, so this is one of our first digitally printed top sheets. Okay. Um, so kind of a, a cool thing, you know, probably like billion dollar machine to digitally print this, but it gives you a visual quality of a portrait Ooh. that you can put on the wall. So, right. uh, you know, the first thing that I think people are going to notice when they hit the shop is seeing that and going, wow, it looks like, good. that's really crisp it look, and clean. It does look good. Um, so, you know, the, again, like the kink, like you were saying, this is one of the staples of our line. Mm -hmm. We've seen it go up and down through some different things, some some weird shady graphics right when the board got changed, which was uh, made it a little difficult for us. But sure. this used to be our top selling board. Yep. It's rapidly on the incline again to do that. That's um, right. So like you said, strong strong presence on the street uh, side of things and a lot of our AMs and even into our pros yep. going in there. So we had a real good uh, real good story behind that. You know, you've got Carson Schubert, uh, we've got Don Ojo, yep. rest in peace. Yep. Uh, you guys will see him on this throughout the year. So uh, keep your lookout for that and, and post some stuff for him. I'm sure his family would love that. Yep. Uh, but this is one of those boards that packs a lot of punch in a pretty minimal price story again. So um, starting out there, I mean, graphically, you can see what's going on there. On the base, we don't have any uh, die cuts going on, so we pulled yep. all the die cuts out. So and this, this is center, too. This right? is center. So the big increase into this was a performance score this year. Okay. And then adding that that Fusion 4000 going on there. That's, that's a fast base. Yeah. Like, super fast. So it's a good structure. It seemed to be... More structure than before, almost. It feels well, like. we get a little bit of that. So, like, I think some of the kids that are riding this are asking for that because mm. they, they are a little bit more performance driven now yep. in the park and they want something, you know, sure, it's great to grab and go yeah. and not worry about your base. But sure. a lot of these guys are, are coming in with that tuning mentality that they're like, hey, I should probably yeah. tune this at some point. So, and, which is interesting on, a, on kind of a park board. But yeah. It's good though, but if yeah. you want to, if you want to ride. Just a little bit, ten percent faster. Yeah. Center base, like a wax center base, is going to give you the extra speed you need to like clear that gap, get to that exactly. rail, exactly. clear that knuckle. Yeah. So, um, but no, with that you said the performance core. What's uh, what what's in the performance core? So the performance core is a mix of three woods. So you've mm -hmm. got aspen, you've got mm -hmm. bamboo, and you've got polonia. Cool. So lightweight polonia. Yeah. Bamboo, bamboo is like strong. Yeah, strong. Yep. Yep. And then and aspen then just your butter. Filler. Yep. yep. <laughs> Aspen's um, really good wood. But it is. Yeah. Above average. Mm -hmm. So I mean, and another cool thing about, about the kink is that it really doesn't have a lot of additional laminates. No. You know, it has a, a, pretty much a camber dominant style profile mm -hmm. shape. Yep. Um, what's this specific name of this camber? It actually has a, a pretty big rise to it. So we're going off of our twin hybrid rocker. Twin hybrid rocker. Yes. Okay, so it's basically all camber. Pretty much. You have a and narrow a section at your contact point just okay. to kind of lift that up and give yep. you that catch free. It's not clunky yep. yep. um, or anything like that, but you've yep. got a good section mm -hmm. underneath there that's uh, of rise yep. underneath. So a little bit more than our average board. So you're getting a little bit more pop out of that camber. Sure. Um, we've got your roll-in slime wall, mm -hmm. which is going to be that strong. durability, strong. We're able to thin out the board. So it's giving it a, a better flex, a more consistent flex. Yep. Um, so you've got that going on. Dual impact plates underneath the feet so yeah. a little cushion sure. your push yep yep um and then yeah so you're and then overall shape so this was a new shape uh last year was it last year yeah yep so kind of change it wasn't huge drastic mm -hmm. shape changes but uh, i gave it a little bit more urban fun fun kind of shape in there yeah there's like especially here around the midwest like you see so many because 
you know, tow ropes and you know, parks are like a big thing about mm -hmm. our, with our community. Yep. Is that there's so many kids that ride this. Like lo local guy, oh, yeah. Walker Murphy, man, yes. that guy. That guy destroys these boards. He does. He yeah. does. And you know what? It's crazy. Like Walker, he's actually one of our team riders. Um, he he's like notorious for doing gigantic gaps to like front lip, back lip, just like crazy, like almost breaking his board, but not. Oh. But the cool thing about it is like a lot of a lot of boards that that have riders doing those kind of like big gap to like disaster tricks, they break their edges a lot. And the kink has the cleaved edge. 50% yeah. more steel, a yep. little stronger. Yeah, um, definitely helps it's with it, all it those It really crowns. does, it holds up a, mm -hmm. lot, a lot more. It does. Now, Bill, would you say this is for, you know, beginner, intermediate, or advanced level rider? I mean, this is kind of one that could hit it all. Sure. Um, you know, you're definitely, if you're a more advanced rider, the features that you're gonna tell out of it, mm -hmm. Are your rolling slime wall, yep. your cleave edge? You're gonna see, you're gonna feel that right off the bat, and mm -hmm. the fact of, that we have about three millimeters of camber underneath the foot, so it's right. a considerable amount of camber. Mm -hmm. um, so for that guy that knows what's going on and can feel the difference, he'll catch it. Mm -hmm. The guy that's advancing and coming up, he'll catch it because he's able to do bigger things with it. It's gonna perform more. There's gonna be mm -hmm. more snap. Mm -hmm. So as he's Can't learning. Doing that learn instead of riding onto a rail, he's yeah. gonna jump to a rail. Yep. He's gonna see a little bit more pop in there and a little bit more response out of his board and the core. Mm -hmm. um, and then that beginning rider coming in, it's just gonna be all that and then more yeah. for him. So mm -hmm. it's not definitely not a hard board for a beginner to jump on um, yep. and do anything like that. Uh, we do have some stuff that are you know, more price conscious and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff and a few of the features out, but this would be one that he could take right off the get-go that's right still have a great time on it that's right yeah like soft, softer flex about a four four mm -hmm. out of ten or so yep and then yeah a, a, a kind of like raised up uh contact points too so. exactly yeah this is a this is a, a super rad board when you when you ride this thing whether it be in the park or, or just kind of cruising around mm -hmm. you know, what, what what do you like most about the kick i mean now for me it's the feel and okay. having that camber you just having the camber there. Yeah, having yeah. the camber. It just yeah. adds that much more stability mm -hmm. onto the foot. I'm a bigger yeah. dude. Sure. And so when I go to either make a turn or try to pop, there's that much more energy that's transferred into it. Back so up. I like that, that it comes into that factor. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm also kind of a girl. The graphics mean a lot to me. So yeah, it's if important. I, I don't, you know, if I can't drive a purple Ferrari. It's got to be red. It's got to be black yeah, it's gonna or be green. <laughs> I can't do it. So, yeah. I mean, looks are definitely something in there, too. And so, you know, it's good for that. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I've always enjoyed the kink. You mm -hmm. know, again, camera profile shape, pretty pretty bare bones, not a lot of stuff to it, but does a really good job underfoot in a lot of conditions. Yes. Awesome. Okers, man, thanks for being out here. Thanks. Let's get kinky. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, again, this is a 2019 uh, Ride Kink. You can check it out at thehouse.com by selecting the links below. Um, and if you guys have ever ridden this thing, you know, let us know what, it, what it's like. If you have questions for, for Ride or Oakers, uh, yeah, leave those in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel over there and then watch some vids over there. And hopefully we'll see you guys on the snow. Peace.